Hey everyone, it's Steve, and in today's session I want to talk to you about a KVM switch. So, in case you don't know what it is, and I know it's a little bit basic for some of you who have been in the IT business for a while, but in case you're starting out and don't know, what a KVM switch is, is the ability to share a keyboard and monitor across two machines. So let's take a look at my messy home office here. So I've got a, I've got a laptop right there with a monitor right above it, okay? But I've also got another machine down here, um, this uh, this Dell, and I don't need to access it that much, but sometimes I do. But I don't have a separate monitor for it. So there's no monitor for that Dell. So right now I've got the laptop, the monitor for the laptop, and then I've got the Dell. All right, well, what the KVM switch does is it allows you to take an input from one computer and an input from another computer, so these are monitor inputs, and then have an output to a monitor. So let me give you kind of an example. Let's go around to the back and see how this wires together. All right, so back here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the KVM switch live back here. And what I've got is down here where the Dell computer is, I have an HDMI cable that's coming from the video output on the Dell, and I'm gonna plug that into uh, PC number two. Here, let me get you to focus here. I'm gonna plug that into PC number two, HDMI in. Okay, so that's the video coming from the Dell is going to HDMI in on number two. Now, the video from my laptop, which is this cable here, is all coiled up, it's this one right here, that's gonna go into HDMI number one. All right, and then finally, the back of my monitor, the cable that actually feeds the video into the monitor is right here. That's gonna go on the HDMI out. All right, and then what there is is a button on here that lets me choose between one or two. So this is just a two port, uh, a, a two machine KVM. They make all kinds of different KVMs that support different different configurations. Like you can have them to where they ha handle up like eight different machines. They even make some that don't even use like traditional wires. They use like, um, I guess it's like ethernet. I, I'm, I'm not even totally positive, but it looks like an ethernet cable that plugs into a special KVM card on the back of the server. Okay, so that's the video. But now there's also the keyboard. Well, the way the keyboard piece works is on the front of the box, is USB ports for a mouse, a keyboard, and I guess whatever else you might want to share between two different machines, and you'll hook them up here. All right, now I'm actually using a wireless mouse and keyboard, so it's just this little bitty wireless dongle, so I only need to use this one, one spot right there. All right, so now the other thing you have to do is if you're gonna share a keyboard, is that you're gonna to have to have a USB out going to each one of the machines. So here I've got a cable right here, a USB cable. This is like the, the printer end style, right? I can't remember what they call that. Is that USB type B, I think? Anyway, so that that's gonna, so this one goes down to the Dell. So that's gonna go into the keyboard slot for, that's gonna go into the keyboard slot for number two. And then also I have one that goes to the laptop, and that's gonna go into keyboard number one spot. All right, so let's go see what that looks like in practice. All right, so here we are, got the computer turned on. So right now I've got the KVM switch to set to the first port, which means I'm using the monitor, the big monitor, as an extension of my laptop, right? And then just, I know I didn't show it to you before, but you know, here's my keyboard, right? So got my mouse, my keyboard. See me moving the mouse around over there, right? All right, now what I wanna do is I wanna to switch to using the, uh, the Dell machine. I just need to do something on the Dell machine for a minute. So I'm gonna reach back to where that little uh, controller is and push the button to switch it over to two. And now the laptop saw that it lost its, its second monitor. Um, but now I'm moving the mouse again same mouse, right? But now I'm on the Dell computer. See, that's a Windows machine, right? So, you know, this kind of allows me to run two different machines leveraging only one monitor. So in case you weren't familiar with what a KVM switch does, 
And what does KVM stand for? Keyboard Video Mouse. Um, a KVM switch, uh, I'll leave you a link to the one I just demoed in the description, but there are so many different types. And they range in price anywhere from, oh, I guess a cheap one might be in the mid 30s US dollars all the way up to maybe a couple hundred for a fairly fancy one. All right, but I hope that that knowledge helped you out in case you didn't know what a KVM switch was. Thanks for watching.